All right, welcome back. I'm here shopping for CRTs again on eBay. And in case you just managed to find this video somehow because of the YouTube algorithm, uh, CRT stands for cathode ray tube. And this is an old display that you might find in your grandparents' house or a retro gaming nerd like myself who's got probably 50 in their house. What we're doing is we're trying to find a good high quality high-end CRT which was a professional video monitor and these were made by companies like Sony for example and these PVMs are much more desirable due to things like their high resolution look they support different inputs like RGB which was not a standard here in the United States and that's my 30 second spiel on a CRT if you just managed to show up on this video and you're wondering what the heck is this crazy guy even talking about all right here's what I found Check it out, we've got a Sony PVM 14L2 color video monitor. So I did buy this one. I did not pay $349 plus $72.77. Uh, I got it for a total of $395. So I got quite a bit off, you know, just like $25 off. So that's pretty good and a fair offering. Uh, the good thing here is it's listed as used in good condition and it's only shipping from Ohio and the seller has a 100% feedback with quite a few items sold. Let's go now and see how this box arrived and see what's inside of it. Oh, and one more thing. This is my 15th wedding anniversary, so hopefully I can convince my wife that a Sony PVM CRT is the perfect gift for your anniversary, especially when you've been in love and together for such a long time. Our gift is in this lovely box here. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. That's some nice. I mean, you could use this as some extra soft bedding at home. That's a double use right there. Oh, okay. So miscellaneous pieces of styrofoam. And let's hope her gift survived in here. Um, doesn't look so bad. Let me pull it out and give you guys a better look at what's inside this box. Let's see what we've got under all this and see if hopefully everything survived. All right, so that edge is really clean. This side looks nice and clean. Got some scuff from paint up here. And the tube, I don't see any burn obvious in it. That's all great. And what we have here is one of the last generations of CRT monitors that's on the professional level that Sony made. And that's the L series. Again, we got the PVM 14L2. Uh, 100 to 240 volts so this can go in a plethora of regions and be powered up and then we're looking at 85 watts s video and composite inputs on line a line b is composite video third line is rgb slash component over here switchable with external sync february of 2005 this is a really late model of one of these hopefully it's in good shape let's go around now and we're going to get this thing with some power into it and see how it looks all right, now we're getting ready to test things. So let's go ahead and go through the entire setup so you'll see everything that's involved here. First off, here's our monitor. It's ready to go and be tested. And if we look at the back of our monitor, we've got it set up down here and we're gonna be using the best possible, which is RGB. And they kind of switch up the orientation or order of the cables on this one. This one actually goes green, blue, red. And then we have our sink over here. And our two audio lines again going into the input and even the output line. and then if we follow that cable around we have uh, the adapter here that goes and gives us SCART and then so we have a SCART connector that goes over here and comes into our Super Nintendo um, and this Super Nintendo has been modified for RGB output with Voltar's kit if we look at the power supply here this is the triad aftermarket switching mode power supply i highly recommend this for these old machines now so this will again take 100 to 240 volts of power we're going to use just a standard three-prong cable it's plugged in over here 
and we are getting 122 volts of alternating current and then we'll also plug in our triad power supply right there and let's give this a quick test and this one has an LED so that will light up and even before we turn it on we're going to be using my custom amazing cartridge here for the 240p test suite how awesome is that it's pretty cool isn't it and that was actually a gift to me from Artemio and I just want to say thank you Artemio you are the best and I absolutely love this cartridge all right now let's power this on and see what happens this is the first time I've actually powered this one on no joke um, got an indicator light there got a delay for the degausser let's turn that off okay I see no sync over here which is normal line A so let's go over here and do line RGB external sync if we go into our menu to user config we need that to say RGB and that's RGB mode oh here we go all right check it out there it is the best game in the world can never truly be beaten there's a tiny bit of convergence separation here on this edge it's going to be difficult to see on the camera lens but it's definitely along this side so that can be adjusted a little bit and cleaned up and it obviously needs an adjustment for geometry overall but it doesn't look too bad. The important screens are going to be what we just saw. So I'd like to look at this to see if there's any purity issues and to make sure that all the colors work because you can go red, green, and blue, and then white. All right, this is great. We can finally do this test so I can prove to you that both audio channels can be plugged into a PVM like this one. And... Uh, you can use that to tie together left and right audio for stereo audio and make that come out of the mono speaker down here. I'm pressing the A button here while it's on the left and it makes the noise. If I go over to right and press the A button, no noise. And the reason for that is because back here the only thing that's plugged in is the input like you would normally do with just the single mono audio cable for left. Now I'm going to take the right audio and again I'm plugging this into the output and check it. We will go back. We're still on right and all we got to do is press A to test that out. And there you have it. It's proof that it works. All right. Well, everything's checking out and working wonderfully on this Sony PVM. Now just to give you a little bit more information about this particular model being again the 14L2. Now this one does have a 600 line Trinitron tube in it which gives you a pretty darn good picture. Uh, really enough resolution to get some good scan lines on this 13 inch screen and yes that's how big the tube is from this corner to this corner it is a total of 13 inches even though it's called a 14 inch monitor. If you look down here we do have the ability to use a service menu to adjust things on this monitor. Now I've gone through the L series monitor and adjustments before, so I'll link that in the description if you want to see more on that. This is how you switch between your input lines. So there's line A and B and RGB, and then down here we can turn on and turn off external sync. That's how you turn on your menu and then cycle through it up and down and use enter. As it sits here, we can do other things like put it in 16 by 9 mode and shrink the screen. We can do under scan mode and then we can do blue only mode and even degauss it externally. Lastly, to get into the service menu, we need to press our menu button, have this menu up, and then we should just press degauss and enter. And yeah, see how it switched to this other menu where you see signal and then you can come down here for example deflection and you can make adjustments to your horizontal and vertical raster and your full geometry all right so this pvm purchase turned out relatively great for me 
Uh, first off, let's talk about the price. I wound up getting this one for 395 US dollars and that includes my delivery costs as well as my sales tax. I do have to pay that in the United States and that $395 is US dollars. Now I did have to send an offer on this PVM and I think I sent the offer as $50 less than what it was originally listed as and the seller accepted that so that was great and kudos to the seller they get an A plus for that. Now how about the packing and shipping? Uh, the cost was exceptionally reasonable especially right now and I know that I've done a lot of shipping lately and the cost seems to keep going up so I'm not sure what a lot of these eBay sellers are doing whether they have really good deep discounts or if there's a possibility that they're just losing money sometimes on transactions as far as like their shipping costs but they get a good grade for the shipping cost the time it took to ship and deliver and also the packing i mean the packing was not completely perfect but the box was very good it was the right size there was a lot of cushioning and bubble wrap inside there that would have given it some ability to absorb impacts uh, in a ground shipment so that's all great i give them let's say an a minus for the packing and shipping just because you could always add a little bit more packing however it arrived so they definitely are in the A category now the last thing I want to say is the seller does also get a great grade for the description on this monitor it was listed as tested as working and it even had a return policy of 30 days which again I cannot believe that a seller could afford to do that of course this is a larger uh, electronics recyclers so they probably have a higher profit margin but also the cost to sell this and then try to return it would be pretty high so kudos to them for the offering and also for the correct description on their listing so that's all three categories as far as I'm concerned for the seller and they get a really good grade so I will be giving them positive feedback and so that is a good experience on eBay when buying a PVM and getting a good deal and having it come in the way you'd expect it to. Eventually I'm going to go through and do a capacitor kit on this one and then I'm going to show off some of the cards that you could put in the back because our good friend Martin who's come up with all these different types of amazing alternate cards to put in the back of these PVMs and BVMs. Over the years I've gotten a collection of some really interesting alterations of those cards and I plan to show them off in this monitor and some other L series monitors in the future so definitely be on the lookout for that. I thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you all next time with some more retro content. Well, unfortunately, it turns out that even though this was a really great deal on a Sony PVM, uh, a PVM does not make the greatest anniversary gift. So it looks like I'm stuck down here in the basement sleeping next to our good buddy, Oh, Brutus. Oh, Brutus, you'll never kick me out, will you? If I bring you home a CRT? Oh, goodness. What was I thinking?